Members of the two Gauteng taxi associations could face legal action if found in breach of the newly signed peace agreement. A former feud between the Witwatersrand Taxi Association and the Nansfield Dube West Taxi Association resulted in bloodshed and subsequently a 90-day shutdown of the disputed routes. Gauteng Transport and Roads MEC Jacob Mamabolo told today briefed the media about the minibus taxi vetting and authentication process. The MEC says he's happy with the progress made in the Taxi Association's verification process. Under the agreement signed last week Tuesday, associations are to reissue their operating licenses and follow a three-step identification procedure that includes a newly introduced biometric system as well as issuing of new stickers. They have also been authorized to operate 100 taxis each. I must say I'm very much pleased with the introduction of a fingerprint technology in the verification of taxi operators along the disputed routes. This is a groundbreaking initiative. It's a high standard and it's best practice because for the first time during law enforcement, when we do roadblocks, we will be able to say this taxi operator is indeed the same taxi operator that was issued with a sticker and that is allowed on the routes. Breach of the agreement will result in harsh consequences. If there are any violations we, keep up from law, we pick up from law enforcement, it is not my intention to shut down and ground the way to, to a hold again. We need to deal with culprits and, and, and we need to deal with them decisively. That will include arrest, impounding the taxi while we allow um, uh, commuters in Soweto to have transport. Water Taxi Association has welcomed the department's decision and has their 100 taxis operating on the routes. He asked some uh, uh, papers to be submitted on Monday. Uh, we should comply as Water JTA with all the necessary document. He even uh, suggests that we must have a working committee, which we have done also that. Uh, we are glad. We managed to comply with all the necessary uh, requests from him. But with less than 20 taxis on the road, Nandue seems rather dissatisfied. It is a challenge that the department is requiring uh, the operating licenses, of which it's true. We have to ha have own an operating license in order to operate. But the, the challenge that we have, many people have applied. They are, uh, their licenses are still within the, with the department. So the department takes time. They don't issue the permit. And now at the end of the day, we have to struggle. The department has scheduled a meeting with both associations yeah, next week Monday to address progress and possible challenges. Nosipom Nube, SABC News, Johannesburg.